all loud structure all concrete design so we are given this example here so we are supposed to design a single reinforced rectangular section the ultimate design moment to be resisted by a section in figure 4.6 is 185 kilonewtons meter so so that's the ultimate design moment to be resisted by the section so we are given this section so we have the dimension here b b being 260 we also have the d from where we have the reinforcements being 440 also we are looking for this area of the tension part so determine the area of tension reinforcement so this as required given the characteristic material strengths are fy so we are given the characteristic strengths the of the material being fy being 416 newton per millimeter square and the fcu being 30 newtons per per millimeter square so first we're going to find the value of okay okay going to find use the we're going to use the moment and the dimension here and fcu the characteristic strength of the material so for for this now for you to get a value okay we have two options so we are going to look each of them okay here you can use for you to get a value of k we have you can use this formula m over b d square for which b is breadth and d being the depth and this fcu being the characteristic strength of the material so we can use this graph here whereby we have i a in our y axis being set over d c over d and then on the x-axis you're going to find the value of k so being k is the same as moment at the moment the design moment modified by b d square f c u so here if we substitute the values here we have our at the design moment being 185 kN so if you convert this to be newton per millimeter square you're going to multiply by 10 power 6 then you divide by b which is 260 then it's d squared being the power d here is 100 square so if you substitute here then you multiply by the characteristic strength 30 then we are going to find get this value which is 0.122 or which is less than 0 0.156 so we were going to to determine if we're going to require the compression steel or not so here in our ps 8110 for for okay From our PS 8110 for structural concrete design, M, which is the design moment. So when M and K is less than 0. Point, when K is greater than 0 0.156, compression steel, compression transport and steel is also required to supplement the moment resistance of the concrete. But if the value of k is less than 0.156, it will not require to supplement the moment resistance of the concrete. So for our case here, for our case here, we got the value of k being less than 0.156, meaning the compression still we don't need there. So the next step we're going to find the lever arm so from our ps 8110 for you to get a value of c 
you can be used this formula solving this so so we we have this I see it's already it's already solved so you are going to substitute for which we already have the value of d also the value of k we already have so you can substitute in, in that formula so here we're going to substitute d for which is the debt that's from the reinforced mean of the various point there so yes yeah, so we have for 140 into 0.5 you add the root of 0 0.25 in this formula you less the value of k 0 0.11 0 0.122 divided by 0 0.9 so we're going to get 369 millimeter so so alternatively we can find the value of c using the that's the for the lever arm so using from the lever arm diagram here yeah so the value of c you can find by so after finding the value of k and then we have here i a being c over d so you make c the subject of the formula there so you love you love to multiply d by i a so from this graph you're going to use the value of k to find the value of i a then you're going to make c the subject of the formula then you cross multiply then you get the answer so here now here we're going to find the value of the value of as for which the question was we are required to to determine the area of tension reinforcement of this here down here so using this formula here as it says m that's the design moment this moment here the ultimate design moment to be resisted by the section we are given to be 185 kilonewton meters so we're going to substitute in that formula there and then you divide by 0 0.95 fy of which this fy is the characteristic strength while c is the the value we got here which is the value we got here 369 so substituting in this formula we're going to have 185 by 10 power 6 of which you convert kilonewton meters to be in kilonewtons per millimeter square you divide by 0 0.95 by 460 of which this one is the characteristic strength then you multiply by the value of c of which we call it to be 369 so substituting you will get value of area of the tension part being 1147 millimeters square. So, this is the end of our tutorial. For more, make sure you subscribe.